guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, we are here for painting number 16 in our 30 paintings in 30 days little series of painting studies that we're doing. And for this painting, I've grabbed yet another one of my inspiration books that I made. These are pictures that I took. And um, this one is all about skies, sky, called Skyscapes. And again, I've taken photos, mostly that I took, a few from magazines, but in this particular book, I think all of these are pictures I took. Um, and I've paired them up with acrylic paint colors that I thought, um, that if I was gonna do something inspired by the photos, these were colors that I see in the photos or that I'm inspired to, would be inspired to use by the photos. So, and I have, I have, I think six of these or seven of these books. So anyway, and this is a Moleskine Cahier um, with the blank pages. This is the one that's like five by eight and a half, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, I have a series on these and if I can find it, I'll link it below. So I'm gonna use this mini clipboard to clip it like that and I'm gonna put it over here. And I've got my paints, a little palette, some brushes and really dirty water, but that's okay. And we are gonna get started right here with painting number 16. So as per usual, let's start with our half inch flat. Um, this is sort of a cloudy sunset sky, it looks like. Um, I have all of this like gray color on here. Some of this might work for the background. There was some tealy blue in there, so I'm gonna mix that in. I'm gonna mix in some more, uh, I'm gonna use the cobalt blue. There's a couple of different cobalt blues in here in this palette. I'm not sure why I have two of them in here, but anyway. One is Van Gogh, one is Winsor Newton. I don't know why I did that. Um, so I'm gonna grab some of that paint and I'm gonna put it again on the background. Not too much, cause that's really dark color. And I'm gonna add some water, just blend it out just a little bit. I might mop some of it up with my rag because I think it's a little darker than I wanted for the background. That's better. I do think I need to get some more blue involved. And then add some water. I, I, you notice I didn't dry the background. You know, all the other paintings that we've done so far in the series, I think I start out with putting something on the background and then drying it, and I didn't do that this time. Um, this is just an abstract of, like sort of skyscape. And um, we don't necessarily need to do that. There is like a big, some big cloud formations. And I can tell it's a setting sun because of the yellows, oranges, and sort of pinky purpley tones that are in here. Um, but I want to ground it first with these other colors. Okay, now let's give it a dry. Okay, it's no. mostly dry. It's not all dry, but that's okay. We're going to stick with the half inch flat brush that we're using right now. And I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to add a little bit of um, some purple to these colors that are already in the palette. That was just a little bit of Daniel Smith Cobalt Violet. Literally a tiny, teeny bit. Look what it did to the color. <laughs> it's very purple. So we'll take some of Jane Davenport's ink. And a little bit of Holbein's Van Dyke Brown. There we go. And grayed it back up again. So now we have a purpley gray, which is what I wanted. Okay, and inspired by the photo, we're gonna put in some sort of stormy cloud shapes. Skyscapes are great for practicing, um, you know, abstract shapes and color. 
um, the clouds and sky. So if you don't, you know, get it perfect, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get that dry. Okay, still a couple wet spots, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna take the Jane Davenport Buzzy, which is the yellow color that's in this palette. which needs some water. There we go. And I'm going to put it here. I'm gonna just put a little bit of it and then we're gonna blend it out and or blot it because that's really a bright color. Okay, that's better. using the um, colors I see in the inspiration photos for suggestions of where to put my colors. Okay, then I'm gonna take <clears throat> a little bit of the orange that's in this palette, which is Holbein's Permanent Yellow Orange. I'm not gonna let that yellow dry too much before I put this in. Let it add some water. Now I do see some pink tones in the sky, so we're gonna go in with um, Jane Davenport's best friend. Again, put a little bit down <clears throat> and grab some water if you want to blend that those marks and that color out. Again, with this Jade Davenport color, they dry pretty quickly. So you don't want to get too far with mark making before you get back in here with the wet brush because they do dry pretty quickly, which can be good if you're using... Um, um, the paints, you know, when you're doing like plein air painting and you're, you know, doing it while you're having coffee with your friends or something and you need it to dry fast. These Jane Davenport paints do dry really fast. Okay, let's give that a dry. Okay, I am gonna go back in with my whiteout pen and add some white back. So I've got my damp brush in one hand and the whiteout pen in the other hand. I'm gonna put the whiteout down and I'm gonna get right away in with the damp brush to move it around. And this is a great way to maybe um, carry some uh, white paint with you if you are taking like your watercolor paints traveling. Um, rather than taking a tube of white paint or a tube of white gouache, um, you can just take something like this whiteout pen or acrylic paint pen, and that can um, serve as your, your white. There we go. I like that. Okay, let's take the tape off and see what it looks like. That's cute. So there we go. Sort of an abstracted skyscape. Painting number 16 in our 30 paintings of 30 days project. I'll be back.
speed food through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.